I will not stop Sophia Flush Racing says father after horror crash the painkillers were wearing off on Monday night and Sophia Flush felt every ache left by the 11 hours of surgery that followed her horrific crash in Macau on Sunday. However the good news was that the 17-year-old German racing driver had been saved from paralysis by a team of doctors working a long shift inside the local hospital. At her bedside was Father Alex, who, speaking to sports mail by telephone, relived the horrifying moments of uncertainty he endured when his daughter's accident brought a halt to the Formula 3 race. Four laps into the Macau Grand Prix, Flourish hit the back of rival Jan Darula's car. That launched Flourish over the inside curb into the car of Shotsavoy. This impact then catapulted her some 12 feet into the air, through the safety fence at 172 miles per hour and into a temporary photographer's platform with Marshall standing in front of it. Flersch's team boss Fritz Venemers Ford of Venemers Ford Racing said she must have had an angel on her shoulder to have survived the impact as a gasping crowd feared the worst. Her father was among the anxious spectators. Those 30 or 40 minutes after the crash were the hardest minutes of my life, he said. Trying to find her was very difficult. I did not know what was going on. All sorts of concerns come into your mind at a time like that. By the time he found his daughter, who was removed from her car, she was being treated by doctors. The FI and all the medics did a great job and I would like to thank them for everything they did, he said. Flush fractured her spine. Doctors. Working deliberately slowly so as not to damage her spinal cord and cause paralysis, took bone from her hip to repair her seventh vertebrae. They later confirmed that her vital signs were stable and all her limbs working. The surgery went well, confirmed her father, who is sending progress reports home to the rest of the family in Munich. She is awake and things are going smoothly after the operation. The doctors say that if everything continues to progress satisfactorily that she will be in hospital in Macau for six or seven days before flying back to Germany. I am sitting at her side now and she's just happy the surgery is done. Things will get better every day. But for now she has some pain the drugs are wearing off. We have not yet spoken about whether she will race again it is too soon for that but from my point of view there is nothing I would do to stop her. Edot, president of the FI, motor racing's ruling body, said, the FI is mobilized to help those involved and analyze what happened. We will monitor the situation and make the necessary conclusions. It is the second major accident in two years at the city state track on which F1 greats such as Lewis Hamilton and Michael Schumacher have raced. British rider Daniel Hegg already died there 12 months ago in the feature motorcycle race. Sunday's Grand Prix was stopped for an hour before being won by 19-year-old Brit Dan Tictum, a Red Bull junior driver.